Finally tonight, the Dubai World Expo 2020 has given a unique marketing opportunity for Papua New Guinea, not only in tourism, but on connecting with global partners to harness the commercial use of PNG's abundant natural resources. That's just the tip of the iceberg in events that'll happen at the Expo 2020, which, which is into its fourth official day in the 186-day event. We take a look at how PNG has done so far and preparing for the Expo, which will conclude in March 2022. Narendra reports. With the Expo 2020 in Dubai, you'd expect it to be spectacular and the opening on September 30 was just that. And now it's down to business. There's more than 180 more days to go and the Ambassador to Belgium and the European Union and Commissioner General of the PNG Expo Secretariat, Ambassador Joshua Kalinoy, had time to thank all those who had successfully pulled off the opening day. So, Minister and uh, uh, guest and Excellencies, uh, it took us just over 18 months uh, to take us to where we are. Um, although, Notice we're in 2018 that we will join the exposition. So we responded a little bit uh, slow, but thanks to the minister and his colleagues, uh, we have a ministerial oversight committee, the minister is a member of the committee, and they have been also uh, keenly pushing, pushing us, officials, to uh, have the program in place. So thank you, Minister, for your contribution The virtual conference set up at the APEC House in Port Moresby was open last Friday and plays an important role in information coming to and from Dubai and Port Moresby. I'm pretty sure this expo will uh, bring a lot of investment opportunity, uh, bring a lot of um, potential investors into the opportunities that we have here, particularly in the uh, mining sector, in the gold uh, and the gas sector, oil and gas sector, because uh, that is where these guys uh, have expertise in. Apart from just uh, uh, in the Middle East, or Dubai, UEA, the world is now in Dubai. So that also provides us with an opportunity also. So those that will be going to our, our pavilion, the PNG pavilion will have a snapshot or they will see exactly what we have to offer here in this amazing. I see a land of mysteries and opportunities. Eh? Land of mysteries and opportunity. And I guess that's what we are. I also love the catchphrase by TPA, TPA, no longer a land of um, unexpected, but land of a different million journeys. And I think that's really suiting for us uh, in Papua in a land of diversity, unity in diversity. And while the virtual conference was opened in PNG, PNG's pavilion was opened by the Minister for Forestry, Walter Schnobelt, yesterday in Dubai. On behalf of the Murray Bay government, the people of Papua New Guinea, I sincerely thank the government and the people of the United Arab Emirates for this very generous bilateral assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe signs of recovery from the COVID-19 global pandemic are slowly emerging on the horizon as some of the key economies in Europe, the Middle East, North America and Asia are beginning to lift some restrictions and mass vaccination measures start getting people to open businesses with the re-emergence demand for goods 
and services. The current economic slowdown can only rebound after hitting a certain depth of the downward trend. I think that time is about to happen soon. Papua New Guinea is therefore privileged to be part of an occasion that will involve discussions and exhibition that will trigger the expected upward spiral of the world's economic recovery. And we look forward to engaging with the international community in this regard. Yeah. Open on this third day of October at 10:30 a.m. Right now, Sunny as a token of our appreciation for his involvement in supporting our people. In the month of October, the Expo 2020 will stage the Climate and Biodiversity Week, which is this week, on October 3rd to 9th, the October Investment Forum, Space Week, which involves air travel and air safety and security, World Food Day, Urban and Rural Development on October 30th to the 6th of December, and World Cities Day on October the 31st. And that's how we end the show tonight. I'm Jerry Tave. Have a pleasant evening. Good night. <laughs>